What is going on guys, Sunspot here with yet another video, and this, I'm going to keep this short. Um, I just got back from watching Avengers for like the third time. I did go to the 7pm premiere at my local theater, and then the next day, which you know was yesterday, I did see it again, and, uh, and today in the morning I went to see it again, uh, just because the movie's great. Okay, uh, talking really quiet right now because I do have family over and I don't want to you know, seem like I'm talking alone in my room again. But I just wanted to get this said. I'm currently working on my review on my website, sunspotreviews.com. Go check it out. I have some awesome articles up already. Uh, my Avengers review should be up maybe by tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. We'll see. Uh, but to give you guys my first impressions of the film, it was spectacular. I loved every second of it from start to finish. I did not want it to end, honestly. Every minute I was just thinking, give me more Ultron, more Iron Man, give me more plot twists, more vision, everything. Obviously, after like 2 hours and 17 minutes, it had to come to an end. Did shed some man tears there. No, just kidding. I didn't really shed any tears. Almost did when I saw Hulkbuster, and by the way, the Hulkbuster scene was spectacular. Uh, it wasn't really that long, mate. Excuse me, maybe uh, 10 minutes long, but it was a fantastic 10 minutes. Really funny, really well made, and just amazing. Um, I'm going to keep this really spoiler free right now, but uh, Ultron was amazing. James Spader did a wonderful job. You could definitely tell that he did do motion capture uh, for the character throughout the entirety of the film. So, you know, everybody's thinking, did Andy Serkis also do Ultron? No, he actually just did the Hulk, and he obviously did play usually Ulysses Claw. Ulysses Claw. Um, I forgot how to pronounce the first name, but uh, no, he just did that, and uh, the Hulk obviously. So James Spader was in charge of doing motion capture for James Spader. He did a spectacular job. Paul Bettany was just simply amazing as a vision, really funny, and uh, just to point it out there, um, everybody thought that this Avengers: Age of Ultron was going to be uh, Marvel's uh, first like super super dark movie that is super serious and just to the point. Um, it was not really like that. Um, uh, the trailers really made it seem like you know this is going to be dark. Someone important is going to die, and uh, be prepared. Right? No, that was not the case. Now, maybe seventy percent of the movie, you know, it was pretty damn serious. Ultron is definitely an improved character for the Avengers compared to Loki. I mean, Loki did have a lot of laughs in him, and definitely Ultron does too, but overall, he is more serious. And, uh, he really did take a... bring a big hit to the Avengers, really tore them apart in this movie. It was pretty depressing. Uh, we did learn a lot about Hawkeye, and, you know, without spoiling, there are some big twists to the character that you really, really don't expect. And uh, not going to spoil anything, I'm going to put that in my review uh, on my website. I'm also going to do uh, um, uh, a video review as well that is spoilers um, for those of you that just don't visit the website or just don't want to read or something like that. But to answer the question, the movie has a ton of jokes. It is, I think it is way funnier than the first Avengers movie. And we remember how many jokes were in that movie. And, uh, 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 Joss Whedon was right, and the critics were right. Um, Hawkeye really has some amazing lines. He really put a lot of work in developing his character, and he actually made him one of my favorite Avengers. Obviously, he's nothing uh, compared, in my opinion, to Iron Man or, or to Hulk or something like that, but he is definitely, definitely an amazing character right now. I would honestly not mind if they made a solo movie with him, or um, a solo movie, not a solo movie, but a dual movie with Black Widow and Hawkeye. That would be pretty cool. Like a, a spy movie based off of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. I really don't know. But uh, Hawkeye has some amazing lines. Really, really funny. It made me laugh a bunch of times. And uh, obviously Tony Stark, you know, he was very witty. It did did bother me because after the end... Excuse me. After the events of Iron Man 3, he didn't have his circle on his uh, chest or whatever. And that did bother me, you know, uh, when he's not in the Iron Man suit, there isn't really a circle of light or anything. So, you know, that did bother me. It's, it's a little gripe. I don't really blame Joss Whedon. He couldn't do anything. It was up to uh, Shane Black, one of the directors, uh, the director who did Iron Man 3. Um, what else can I talk about? It was 
you know, it was just an amazing movie. I know there is a three-hour cut that is coming out on Blu-ray, um, and I can understand why, because the movie, the, one of the gripes I have about it is that it went a little by too fast, and not the... I'm specifically talking about Ultron. His evolution went super fast. Within a minute, he's Ultron Prime, compared to a minute before when he was... Um, Zombie Ultron or Ultron Mark One. Um, he was basically uh, Mark One is basically an Iron Legion um, like mechanical bot, and that was broken. He just took it over for a temporary time. So that was a little gripe I had. I can't can't wait till we get the Blu-ray release so we can uh, see what's it called the three-hour version. So that would be absolutely amazing. Anyways, guys, I want to cut this short. I am giving the movie like a like a nine out of ten right now um and again i took a point off just because of the evolution and this is not a full review i still want you guys to stay tuned in for my full video review of this movie spoilers 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 people um i i may or may not have a live stream going um on today uh strictly based on avengers age of ultron so um you know you just check out my channel check out my twitter um, I'll definitely post links or some crap like that. I don't know. I'm just super excited right now. I'm also really avengered out because I saw this movie like uh, three times in the last like 36 hours. So I'm really tired. Um, it definitely uh, takes toll on your brain, especially your eyes. If you guys saw an IMAX 3D, and by the way, the 3D is absolutely phenomenal. I, re I particularly don't like 3D in certain movies. But this movie was actually good. So if you get the chance, um, I recommend you see it without 3D first. Um, but if you guys want to see it a second time, then I definitely recommend IMAX 3D at your local theater or whatever. Oh my god, my eyes hurt. Like I said, it definitely takes a toll on your brain and on your eyes. So guys, this was Sunspot with yet another video. And uh, please like, subscribe, do all that stuff you viewers do on a daily basis. And I will see you guys... Oh, what was that? And I will see you guys in my next video.